Hello, this is a virtual pathology specimen of the right lung and we can see the three lobes here. And this shows the cut surface. Let me just rotate it. And we can see that the pleura is very smooth, the visceral pleura, and there are some large vessels as well as airways here. Turning back to the cut surface, we can see that the lung is diffusely involved by an abnormal process. When I say diffusely, I mean that all the lobes and pretty much everywhere in the parenchyma shows the same abnormality and we do not see a localized or a discrete space occupying lesion such as a mass or a cavity. So this is a diffuse pathology involving all three lobes of the lung and what is actually wrong is that the lung parenchyma appears abnormally solid and it also appears darker brown than usual. For us to be able to appreciate this fully, it is best to compare this with a normal lung. On the left, we have a normal lung and we can see that the normal lung, this is the cut surface and this is the visceral pleura and again the cut surface. It's usually very spongy and almost translucent at the edges. I'm just going to magnify it and we can see that it's got this very light spongy look. If we compare this directly with this abnormal lung on the right, we can see that on the right, the lung parenchyma looks a lot more solid and it's slightly darker brown in colour. The diagnosis here on the right is that of chronic venous congestion of the lung and this gross pathological change is known as brown in duration. So we have a diffuse brownish discoloration of the lung parenchyma and at the same time we have hardening of the lung parenchyma. In other words, it looks more solid and less spongy. The word in duration means thickened or hardened. This virtual pathology specimen is taken from our online pathology resource, PathWeb, and you can access this for free if you register using the link in the video description. We also have some clinical vignettes as well as gross description. We have gross images and I also want to highlight just very quickly the microscopic features. There is a separate video highlighting the salient microscopic features. As you scroll down you will see our videos and here is a more fresh example of chronic venous congestion. We can see the lung is very reddish in colour and on the cut surface it has this brownish appearance and the reason that the lung appears brown is because the alveolar spaces are filled with macrophages that contain the breakdown products of red blood cells, in other words hemosiderin laden macrophages. Also if we were to squeeze the lung we will see this frothy material and this is because the alveolar spaces not only contain air as they should, they also contain a lot of fluid from transudation due to raised hydrostatic pressure. So in summary, this is a gross pathology specimen showing chronic venous congestion of the lung. We have diffuse brownish discoloration of the lung and we also have induration or stiffening or hardening of the lung parenchyma. The most common cause of this is congestive heart failure. Thank you.